Good Monday makers, it's time for another Community Build Roundup, and if you don't know, in this weekly series we showcase the things that you guys make with EMT conduit, maker pipe connectors, and all sorts of other materials. This week's episode features a garden sunshade, a solar panel, truck bed rack, an adjustable support pole for supporting flowers, a lawnmower tool rack, and a can it be made of lights, which sounds really interesting and it is really cool as are all of these projects, all kinds of great things that we'll showcase within each of them. Let's jump right into it. First up is this garden sunshade from Jurana. Jurana? I'm, I know I'm butchering that pronunciation, but this is a really great build, and she was talking about how simple it was, and it was probably really basic, but she was proud of it because she could make an inexpensive solution without any power tools, just using hand tools, and that is a benefit of EMT conduit and connectors. You can cut and assemble your whole build with just some simple, no electric hand tools. And even though this is a basic structure, it is a really great build and a really great design that will be really useful for all kinds of garden beds because you can adapt and customize the dimensions of this to fit different sizes of garden beds that you may have. You could even expand this and turn this into a patio canopy or you know a deck canopy. There's all kinds of great uses for the same kind of design. And basically what it is, it's just a vertical in each corner of this rectangular garden bed. And she said she was making this because she has a succulent garden, as you can see here, but the, the sun comes in at an angle uh, for half the day or you know three quarters of the day and just bakes all of these plants. So she needed to provide some shade to them and she did it with this build. And basically, as I was saying, there's just a rectangular garden bed with a vertical in each corner. At the top of those verticals, she used 90 degree connectors, which is basically a three-way connection. It works perfect to make corners like this because there is a pipe that goes to the ground in the middle, and then the two pipes come out at a 90 degree angle and make a corner. And she basically just got one of those in each corner. And then she did some cross bracing with the maker pipe T connector. That one joins two pipes together. And as you can see, she just did some cross bracing from the front to the back to just add some more support. And then once she gets her sunshade, she'll be able to drape that over and secure it in place. And we've talked about that a lot on the channel. There's a lot of great ways that you can secure sunshades and tarps and canopies and things. If you, can, if you have grommets, you can utilize ball bungees or zip ties. And if you don't have grommets, you can add some or you can use some of the fabric clips that we have on the website and some other methods that we've talked about for securing those things. But this is a really great build. Like I said, even though it's a simple design, it's really great and can be adapted for all kinds of things. So thanks so much to Rana for sharing that really great build. Next up is an awesome project from Steve. And he said he likes to do some RV camping, but needed a way to charge some solar panels and allow them to get as much sun as possible. So he made this roof rack to kind of solar charge his RV trips. And basically all he did was he added some verticals and mounted them to some rails that he had in his truck bed. I don't know if these are, I don't know what kind of track system this is. Maybe it, it uh, you know, it goes to one of those uh, like tonneau covers. You know, maybe it's something like that. Not entirely sure. But basically, he just secured the verticals to those tracks with bolts going through them and just hardware to secure them in place. And the verticals go up and he used the maker pipe T connectors. Again, that's the one that joins two pipes together to add some pipes that go from side to side. And these are the main supports for the solar panel, as you can see here. Well, I guess not really technically. I guess the whole thing supports the solar panel, but <laughs> you can see that the side rail is what supports these two pipes that run from the front to back. And those two pipes are secured with the crossover clamps. And those are a really great uh, clamp to use in scenarios like this, where you don't want to break up the span. If you want to stack pipes or cross them over, that will allow you to have a really strong connection and keep you from breaking up the, the spans of conduit that you have there. So basically just the front to back pipes that mainly support the uh, solar panels and the solar panels directly attach to are just connected to the rest of the rack with the crossover clamps. And then he bolted the solar panels to the rack with conduit one hole straps. And it looks like just drilled a hole or maybe there was already a, a hole pre-drilled in the solar panel but it has like a flat edge and basically just has a bolt going through the one hole strap and then just a, a nut on the other side, I would imagine, to kind of secure it in place and attach the solar panel to the truck rack. And this is really awesome and allows him to get some 
great angles of the sun and some time out in the sun for these solar panels to charge up for his RV trip. So super cool. Thanks so much for sharing this. We really appreciate it. Next up is a support pole made by Gary. And he said that he originally made these to support a tarp, but found them useful for supporting a sunflower. Before we look at that, we'll kind of look at the design here. And it's really simple. It's basically just a vertical piece of conduit, just one short piece of conduit. I think it's three quarter inch on the bottom with some yellow shrink wrap attached to it. And then he's got a telescoping clamp at the very top. And then there's a piece of half inch EMT conduit into that. So we can undo this knob and this can expand and be taller or shorter just based on what you need it for. And then it looks like he added a uh, eye bolt in the top of it. And I think that this can be removed with this pin here. I could be mistaken. Uh, let's see if he says, uh, I discovered yesterday they worked for holding up sunflowers. Rebar stake to hold it. The brass covered loop is a pin on the top that fits around the stock. Okay, so maybe it doesn't actually remove the eye hook. Maybe it just is used to support the sunflower. Again, we'll look at that in a second. At the very bottom of this, he's got a flat flange base just to give it some support. Because uh, you can imagine if this was you know, holding up a tarp, then um, you know, it would need some kind of good base to secure it and kind of keep it steady. And But here it is, instead of holding up a tarp, he found that it works great for supporting sunflowers. He's got some really tall sunflowers and they're really beautiful, sticking straight up there in the garden. And basically he just extended this pole that he made going all the way up next to the sunflower. There's the base in the, in the ground there. And I think he said he put a rebar stake in the ground, which is something we've talked a lot about. You just get those uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware, garden supply places, you find them pretty much anywhere. They just hammer into the ground and then you can slide conduit over top of them. And he's just got that supporting the vertical pole. And then the very top, he's got the eye hook, or I think that's where he said the pin comes into place where the stalk of the sunflower is kind of inside that pin and he's using it to support the sunflower. So really cool. And this is really handy. This is a great idea. We were actually gonna do a video on something related to this recently because we were putting together that CNC machine that's behind me and we were putting it together and the sides needed to be supported some way in order for us to be able to get the bolts in the surround of the, the, the bed there. And our shop manager just put together a telescoping pole that he used to just expand and hold up the, the sides, which is really cool. And we talked about doing a video on that. And then shortly after that, uh, Gary shared this, which is really cool. I think this is a useful idea for, for making things. Maybe if you're working on a build and you need to support a tabletop or a shelf while you're securing it in place, you could do something quick like this to just support one end and hold it in place while you you know add some conduit or whatever it is in your build. It's always good to have a helping hand, but if you're working by yourself, this could be that extra help that you need to finish off your project. So really cool, Gary. Thanks so much for sharing this. We really appreciate it. Next up is a build from Paul, and this is a lawnmower tool rack, as you can see. He's got a nice John Deere uh, lawnmower here, and I love this build because he color matched it, and it looks like it's straight from the factory. It looks like it's just you know something that you can buy to add on, but he custom made this, and I believe he used three quarter inch EMT conduit and then just wrapped it in, I don't think that's our shrink wrap because this is more of like a matte black. And I think the shrink wrap we have is more glossy. So maybe he used some other type of shrink wrap or had something else um, that would fit over the conduit and secure around it, but it looks great. And he secured it to the back of the lawnmower in a couple of ways. You can see here, he's got the, the back flat part of the lawnmower that this is really common. And this is used to uh, for trailers, I believe. Uh, normally on lawnmowers or you know a different attachments but basically he's got the piece of conduit kind of bent around the bottom here and then secured to this flat uh, piece on the back of the lawnmower and then the bent conduit goes up and he's got some more bins and kind of just goes up and then expands out a little bit and he's using 45 degree connectors here uh, similar to the T connector where it just joins two pipes together except this time it's at an angle and he used those to create the supports that the tools can sit on, as you can see here. And he just painted all the connectors green. We've done some videos on that in the past. You can just spray paint the connectors. I'll link that video down below so you can check it out. But basically you can spray paint them, it works well. And uh, he just color matched the, the lawnmower that way. And then um, you can see here that he used 90 degree connectors, which again is the connector that joins three pipes and kind of makes a corner. You can see that he made a basket here to hold, you know, whatever it may be, 
Maybe it's, uh, you know, safety goggles. Maybe it's gloves. You can put all kinds of things in here. And he just made this basket where basically the, the mesh goes around the pipes in this little uh, shelf that he made. And he got yellow to match the rest of the, the yellow accent pieces on the lawnmower. And again, just use 90 degree connectors to make this. It's got a lot of bins in this build that are just really beautiful. And it, again, makes it look like it's straight from the factory. So super cool. And then last but not least, something I wanted to mention, he showed a picture of this. And I don't know exactly what he's showing here, but I believe he made a mount that would utilize the existing bracket on the back of the lawnmower. So instead of having to drill a whole new hole, uh, a whole new hole, <laughs> instead of drilling a new hole in the back of the lawnmower, he just utilized this bracket that was already in place. And I think he did that by using this one inch poly adapter and then just some miscellaneous hardware pieces. It looks like the conduit sits down in this poly adapter and then he just bolted through that into the conduit to support it in place. And this just added a little support arm for the top part of the rack. And I don't know too many details about it. Again, it didn't really share anything, just kind of shared that picture. Uh, but if you're watching, we'd love to know more about that because I think it's a, a great solution and it looks like it's working out great. But thanks so much, Paul, for sharing this. Really great job, and I think this will provide some inspiration to other people out there doing lawn care and needing some more storage on their lawnmower. So really appreciate it. Last but not least, this week is a light canopy, and that's what Elizabeth called this, and I think it's a fitting name because this is really cool. This is a structure similar to what we've seen. Well, not really, but <laughs> it's, it's really amazing. But if you look at just the rectangle part of it, that's pretty common. You know, we like I said earlier, you can take a box design and customize that for different canopies and stretch some shun sunshade over top of it. But this was made just for, they were having a family dinner, and I think some family members were flying into town, and they wanted to just have a nice outdoor seating area for this party that they were having with their family. And they basically made this canopy uh, just to be an accent piece and just to provide some nice lighting. And this is just super cool. And if you look at it, like I said, just a basic box design, I believe, there are T connector or no 90 degree connectors in the corners, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of hard to tell. Basically, they just made a rectangular box, but then at the very top of each vertical, they used adjustable angle connectors to add this wild looking, I don't even know what you call this. It's like an upside down arrow, or I guess just a normal arrow. It's just an upside down V. Basically, they bent the 90 degree peak of the roof. Conduit goes down. I imagine there's a coupling somewhere in there, connects to the adjustable angle connector, goes all the way down, and then bends back around and just creates this really epic looking effect. And this is just really awesome. Here's an even wider shot where you can see more of the triangle going around. And this is just really awesome. And then they just strung up some lights to the frame. And here it is lit up at night. Here's a, another angle. Where they've got all the lights just kind of stringing all over this build. And it's super cool. Just a, a really creative project and a really awesome thing. And hopefully the dinner went well. And uh, it's cool that Maker Pipe played a small part in your, in your family dinner. But thanks so much, Elizabeth, for sharing this. And thanks to everybody for posting your builds. As always, we love seeing them. And if you want to share your build and be featured in one of these episodes, it's really easy to do. You can post on social media and tag us. You can send it through email. You can post a review on the website. You can post it in the community. There's all kinds of ways that you can share your builds, and we love seeing them, so keep sending them in. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you want to see any of these in more detail, they'll be linked down below, and we'll see you in the next video.